<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again for another review. What we're going to be talking about today is a vapey thing. We always talk about vapey things. What we're going to be talking about today is this little squonker right here. This comes from Asmodus. This is called the Spruza Squonker. It's not a squishy bottle style squonker. It is a sort of pump action style squonker. But in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close as we always do. Quick, short, up, and closey time and go. <clears throat> All right, yeah, well, this is the Spruza Squonker from Asmodus. It's a boxy squonker, stabilized wood doors. Both doors come off. One accesses your battery, one accesses your squonker pump system, which we'll get to in one second. But they do have this really nice cutout here for your battery to just go boop and pop your battery out. This battery enclosure is great. It's easy to pop out. There's no ribbons to get in your way and it's never ever been an issue with my battery wraps in any way. None of these are grabby on your wraps. Positive side goes up. It's spring loaded. Bottom pops in and there is a top and bottom to these doors. The little notch goes on the bottom right there. Boom. Nice fit. Zero play up, down, side to side. Feels very solid on there. Sort of this anodized smooth aluminum finish and then you get to the screen and it's it's got uh, a reflection on it, but you can basically more or less see the display through the screen fairly well. Now this has a peer touch screen interface, so you have to swipe down to unlock it. There it goes, it unlocked, and you can tap the wattage, and then the wattage adjusts, unfortunately, in 0.1 watt increments. One full watt adjustment is preferred, so you don't have to do nine taps to get from one wattage to another, but it works fine, it's fairly accurate, and you can do the whole hold it down and it'll go real real fast and then you go past where you wanted to so let's get back up to 55 watts where I want it 54.8 look at that easy enough and then you can come back here and you can see that it's still unlocked so if you go up here to where it says power and you swipe this way this is how you get through all of your settings custom TFR custom TCR a curve setting as well as temperature control if you tap the wattage it goes back and forth between you know your temperature and your wattage if you press and give it a long hold that's how you adjust your wattage go back press to temperature give it a long hold and then that's how you adjust your temperature I don't use any of the temperature control settings I am strictly a wattage vapor so this is home to me the power and then as soon as you press the button that goes back to locked and you have everything else you need to see wattage voltage resistance how many puffs and how long that last press was as well as a battery level indicator that is fairly accurate all the Asmodus mods do this but when you press the button your battery level indicator goes down that's showing you a graphical representation of your battery sag on your battery remember this is only a single 18650 mod one last thing down here this n you can switch that back and forth and you know it has the three settings soft normal and hard and the way that you adjust that so the first thing you have to do is unlock your mod so it's unlocked right there and then you go down again and now it's on soft and then you go down again and now it's on hard and then you go down again and then it's back on normal and then you press your button to relock it. That's honestly something that I very rarely adjust. It just stays at normal all the time. I have no need to go for like, oh, let's, uh, okay, let's unlock it and then let's turn it to soft. Let's just try it on soft for a while. The unlocking of this is pretty fucking accurate, man. I can swipe down almost every time and unlock that. You just go straight from the top all the way down to the bottom and it's unlocked. You don't have to be real precise like just the screen or anything like that. In fact, if you just try to go top screen to bottom screen, it sometimes doesn't unlock when you do it that way. But if you just give it a full swipe all the way down from, you know, anodized aluminum to anodized aluminum, it will unlock for you. Don't try to just keep your finger on the screen to unlock it because that can be a little hit and miss. Full swipes unlock. So yeah, let's take a look at this squonk system. It is a pump action squonk system. As you can see in this Dead Rabbit SQ, I still have a little bit of juice down there in the bottom, but if you pump this, you can see more juice being pumped in, pumped in, pumped in. The crazy thing about this is this does not have a juice return system, meaning that all of the juice that you pump in here will stay in the deck until you vape through it. On a normal squonker, you press the bottle, you let go, and when you let go, it pulls juice back down. This has no pull the juice back down feature. It is just a pump 
pump. So whatever juice you pump into your RDA, you have to vape it out of there. So if you go a little overboard and you maybe give this six or seven pumps when you only meant to give it four or five pumps, you're just going to have a flooded deck that you have to vape through. Thankfully, the Dead Rabbit SQ, and I know this video isn't about the Dead Rabbit SQ, but thankfully the Dead Rabbit SQ has a very, very deep juice well and a very, very high set up airflow. So vaping through this puddle of juice isn't going to be a problem. On other RDAs with less of a juice well, yeah, you could run into some issues there with a lot of flooding happening if you're not paying attention to what you're doing on the pump action. So I know it's kind of a bummer not having a juice return system, but this is one of the easiest squonk systems that I've kind of ever used. The whole tank just pulls out and slides out, and when you pull it out like this, there's always one drop of juice right there on the straw that if you can get it fast enough before it drips, it won't cause a mess, but 10 times out of 10, yeah, there's another one right there. It's just going to drip onto the inside, and I always, always have to get a towel. I always have to wipe this area out almost every single time. This is the one place where, yeah, where juice kind of happens sometimes, and it's going to keep dripping, so I'm going to stuff this in here for now. And the only reason that that is slowly dripping is because this deck up here is so full of juice. If there was no juice in here, if you had vaped through all of this, it would not be dripping out the straw right now. But I did pump it like eight times in a row, so yeah, I'm getting a little bit of drops coming out of that straw while I fill this up. Here's your little tank guy, and you have this little glass right here, this little, this little plastic. It's not actually glass, but it just slides over. It's surrounded by an O-ring. And best of all, you can just set this down on your desk and you can take your glass dripper bottle. I'm filling this up with hooch. And you can just go like this and squeeze it right into that big opening right there. And then once your tank is as full as you want it to be, you just slide this glass back down. You slide that plastic right. I don't know why I keep calling this glass. It's just plastic. You slide that plastic back down, put it upright, and you see, okay, well, that's how far I fold it. I probably should have filled it a little bit more, but that's okay for the purpose of this video. But you can easily fill it all the way up, top it all the way off. Okay, let's just do it. Let's not be lazy and let's fill this up, Nick. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's that's much better. That is much more full. And also now you can kind of see that all that juice that was sitting in the RDA has come back out that straw while I was filling up the tank. So don't fill up your tank with a full RDA full of juice because, yeah, it's just going to come back out the straw. Super easy to reinstall the tank. You just put the pump on that little straw, pop this back down. Perfect. USB on the inside. I'm assuming that's for firmware updates. I wouldn't charge it. I would always take the battery out to charge this. Real easy. Just put the door back on and then you have this little pump action right here. You don't see a bottle or a tank or anything. And you can see that the wood is kind of recessed around this little pump to make it easier to access. And all you have to do, give it a couple pumps. Let's look at the action. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. That 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 is saturated down there. So yeah, that's the Spruza up close and personal. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this thing. So yeah, honestly, I've been having a really good time with the Spruza. It's nice. It feels good in the hand. It's a little bit big, okay? It's not annoyingly big, but when I hold it in my hands, I go, yeah, okay, that, that's kind of a wide mod. And even with that reflection on the screen, that mirrored effect on the screen, I can always see the screen just fine. Maybe not in like the brightest of sunlight, daylight, direct sunlight, but 99% of the time I can see my screen screen just fine. The touch screen on this works well if you learn how to use it. When I first got it, just like you saw in the Uppy Closey, I kept trying to use just the screen to unlock it, and it would unlock like every fourth time. But if you give it that big swipe from end to end, it will unlock every single time. I wish that it adjusted in one watt increments instead of 0.1 watt increments, but that's just a very personal nitpick. I much prefer it when I'm using a mod if it adjusts in one watt increments, but I realize that that doesn't necessarily bother everybody. That's kind of just a thing that just bothers Grim Green over here. But this is a 0.19 at 60 watts, giving me plenty of power. It's a great vape.
A lot like that Luna Squonker, this isn't necessarily like a big, powerful, hot, clouds bro clouds type of vape. This is a little bit more of a mellow vape, maybe a little bit more of a mellow, cooler, flavorful vape. The button is recessed and super nice and clicky. I've never had an issue with it. I've never had an issue with the doors coming off or falling off. I've never had an issue with it not reading an atomizer. It also doesn't do that annoying thing where when you press the button, there's a slight delay and it also doesn't do that other really super more annoying thing where it goes to sleep and you have to wake it up. Three clicks locks it, three clicks unlocks it, five clicks turns it all the way off. Now that pump action squonk does take a little getting used to. It doesn't function like a normal squonker does. It doesn't have a juice return system in it. So any juice that you pump up into the deck, yeah, you're gonna need to vape through that before you can, you know, pump more juice or before maybe you can even lean it sideways. Cause I have the tendency sometimes to just pump eh, a little bit too much juice into my RDA. It's just a completely different system. And it does take a little bit of getting used to. I'm not gonna say it's better or worse, it's kind of just different. And I honestly don't prefer one method over the other, because once you get used to using a squonker with a bottle, then you get used to using a squonker with a bottle, and then once you get used to using a, a squonker with a pump, you get used to using a squonker with a pump. There's a little bit of a learning curve on both sides. I kind of honestly do really enjoy the precision of this pump. I know that when I'm vaping it, and I taste a little bit of dryness, I can no, without looking, I can just go one, two, three, and pump three pumps of juice up there, give it a second, and now I know that without even looking, that all of my cotton and my wicks and all of my coils are saturated. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this? Clicking over to the Asmodus site, they are completely out of stock as of right now, as of this recording of this video. And the retail price on them is $140. So yeah, you're kind of gonna need your vape budget hands on this. And what you're getting for 140 bucks, basically, is stabilized wood doors on an aluminum, single 18650, regulated touchscreen squonker with a completely new and different pump action squonk system. Now this is gonna be the hard part. If we're playing the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, is the Spruza squonker something I would seek out and buy? Don't get me wrong, I'm having a great vape with this. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, and I do actually really like that, you know, pump action squonk thing. It's new, it, it's fun, it's unique. But I don't think that's enough to make me really wanna run out and purchase this mod personally. This is just one of those things where I've been vaping for eight years, I've I've tried dozens and dozens of squonkers, and I could probably think of three or four squonkers off the top of my head that I'd rather buy instead of this one. Like that Asmodus Luna squonker. I like that one much more than I like this one. But that doesn't mean that this isn't a great mod. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's a great squonker, not coming super highly recommended. It's 140 bucks, so look around, buy what you can buy, and afford what you can afford. But the Spruza squonker is a solid squonker with a really unique pump out action squonking system. And if you find that appealing, if that's something that you're after, there's your option. It's the Spruza. So yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. I will throw some links down in the description to this video if you're so interested in checking out the Spruza Squonker from Asmodus. But yeah, that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. And then all you have to do is push this pump onto the straw, slops back in, slops back in. What the hell am I talking about?